Hello and welcome to another update video. Today we want to cover uh, FETFetch.ai. It's a coin that I have so far only covered together with channel members or four channel members in the channel membership. And I will continue to do so regularly um, in the membership. I obviously can't share all content here in public. <laughs> already make more videos than most other crypto channels anyway. If not, then all crypto channels anyway. Um, but you know, there are some hidden gems, obviously, or gems that we want to only cover uh, for channel members. And this is one that um, we covered a few weeks ago in the AI live stream for members before it broke out, just when it was just about to break out. So since then, um, a lot of people interested in it and therefore I decided to, to you know, chart it out here for, let's say, for the public. Um, there are a few different um, possibilities how to count this. This is the daily chart. And the most straightforward count would be here the impulsive count. If I go to the four day chart, you will see that a little bit clearer, uh, which is the yellow count here where we say we had a wave one, we had a wave two. We are now basically in the third wave. Then there will be a fourth and a fifth. The third wave, however, would consist of a wave one, which peaked in 21 and then an A down an overshooting B wave in autumn 21 and then here a C wave down in a wave two in 22. And we are now basically starting, or maybe not have not yet, but we're sort of on the way to start a third wave of the third, then a fourth wave and a fifth wave. So we are basically within this yellow third wave, which means it should, in should, not it will, but it should move up in an all time high scenario quite a bit without getting any deeper retracements. Um, what is at this stage uncertain is if this white wave three has already started or if we are still in the wave two. That's what we need to unravel. Um, of course, there is no 100% guarantee. Um, what I also want to highlight here is that this could just simply be an ABC structure as well due to this strange structure back here, but I'm counting it as a one, two, one, two. So in the short term, this doesn't really matter if it's an ABC, it will have long-term implications though, but there is no way at the moment of knowing it. Um, it's an example of a chart which has started to rally significantly in this, um, let's call it at this stage bear market rally, but obviously here, FED um, is starting to be one of the coins which is doing some serious business here. I mean, um, yeah, we, we, we are rallying. So let's take a look at the um, lower time frame. basically. Let's go to the four hour chart. And what I would like to share with you is that the first thing that you can see is we are above all these moving averages. So what I have on the chart here is the 20 day moving average, which is absolutely adding, uh, acting as support as automatic support and trend line here um, and with, which also pushed the chart higher here a few days ago. Um, if you're wondering where these boxes come from, these come from the Elite Wave count I shared with the members a few weeks ago and um, we had a target for the third wave that was reached. We had a target for the fourth which was reached as well but only really here once unfortunately. Would have liked to see a bit of a deeper wave four, but then again it was reached, the minimum requirement was achieved, and um, then we found support at the 20-day moving average, and we're now pushing higher in what I believe is currently a fifth wave, or maybe a third wave of the fifth wave. We're going to take a look at that in a minute. Um, but yeah, so off the low here, we have a one, two, one, two setup, then the three, four, five, which finished off here, the wave three in the circle, then the wave four, it might've been a running uh, wave four, which is very flat maybe even a triangle, doesn't matter so much. We reached the 23.6 FIP here of that third wave, which is the minimum requirement to complete such a wave. Um, let me take a look at that. And I'm very much into AI. I mean, that's what caused me to, to really look at these um, AI coins a few weeks ago, because it is very, very interesting, you know, and um, the, the whole topic, I mean, I still haven't understood why AI needs a coin, but it's more a hype around it and uh, what AI in general does. Um, but yeah, you know, th these obviously are hyping or getting hyped like the Metaverse coins did in 2021, uh, of course, end of 2021. So let's see how much longer this is carrying on. What we can certainly see here now is that we have a possible five wave move 
complete. This doesn't need to push any higher. Yeah. Um, I mean, if we consider that we have completed a third wave here with this top, which I currently assume, then we take the length of that third wave and we go to the low of the fourth and there is a debate where exactly it was, but um, but um, I'm rather playing on the lower end, so I will add it to the 23.7 cent level, the low that was made here when it actually touched and briefly entered the support and target area. So the first target was the 61.8 extension here at um, 39.3 cents that was just broken. So the next logical one would actually be the 48.9 cent level. Um, depends again on where I see this way for or where I consider that this way for ended. So there's a few, you know, there's a little bit of play in this, but obviously I would rather here be on the lower end to give you a target that's a little bit lower and then even better if it goes above it, right? So around that four, yeah, 49 cent level would be a key target. Now, if we look at the sub waves, um, I can't really, well, can I, can I count it as a triangle? I mean, it is a mess what happened here, yeah? So surely I could probably find a way to count it as an Elliott wave triangle. But um, if we say wave four ended here, and then we had a one, two, this might be a third wave, and then there should be a fourth and another fifth of the fifth. So these can always extend out a little bit more. But what we're doing here certainly looks like a third wave, lots of volume as well. So like a third wave of the fifth. And typically, the, you know, there is no bearish divergence visible here at all. And typically, in a wave three, you see the highest reading. Now we had a very let me zoom out a bit. We had a very high reading here um, in this third wave. And then in the fifth of the third, we saw the bearish divergence. That's typically what you see. Let's go to the daily chart. See on the daily, we actually had the highest reading here in the wave one. Then another high reading here at the top of the third. Then we started to see that divergence um, here on the daily. So on the daily, currently we see here a bearish divergence on the daily appear between that high and that high. Now, if this pushes much higher, it will give us a higher reading. Yeah, it's a little bit unclear. I mean, can I find a way to count this currently still as a third wave? Surely I could. Um, I could count it. Well, I already have a one, two, one, two setup. I would have to find a way to count this also as a one, two, and then it could extend even further. I mean, let's be honest, a, 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 an impulse can extend out further. You know, these can always extend out. Um, however, as soon as we have a pattern full, we need to be ready for downside, which doesn't mean it will come down now. At the moment, there is clearly no sign it is topping or it has topped. Um, but be aware of that 49 cent level. And then there is further structural resistance around the 54 cent level. Yeah, that that previous high is going to be very important. And um, yeah, I mean, if we break that, it could send us to the next key resistance area, I would say even around the $1 level then. Um, or 90 cents where we had the wave one high. So yeah, it's um, it's getting interesting with these. I'm going to observe that for you. Certainly I would keep an eye on the 20 day moving average that seems to be acting as support in this rally. I would uh, take a look at the 49 cent level at the 54, 55 cent level. Um, and then we'll see. But um, at the moment, uh, even though Bitcoin is struggling a bit, the AI coins just seem to be pushing. So it's gonna be very interesting in the following week and I will observe that for you. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.